How's it going everyone? This is part three of the video. Um, sorry for the abrupt end to the last one. I had a bit of a malfunction, so I had to just kind of chop the video there um, and resume from where we last left off. The last thing we had just done was configure HSRP here. We made this our root bridge for VLAN 100 and the secondary for 200 and here the active HSRP for VLAN 200 and the root bridge for 200 and the secondary root bridge for VLAN 100. We had made these trunks and I think that was pretty much where we left off, I'm pretty sure. So show int trunk. Yeah. That's pretty much that, that's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do just now is, let's just look at a wee... Thing with. The next thing we need to do is configure the DHCP server um, and some address pools as well as configuring our switch ports and configuring stuff like Portfast and BPD UGuard. Okay, so let's first go over to what we do first. Um, I will go with the DHCP server first. Right, okay, so let's just configure that. What I'm going to do is give the server it's server is part of infrastructure, so it's going to be 10.30.100 and we'll make it the last usable address. It'll be 254 then. So 10.30.100.254, give it a slash 24 mask and 10.30.100.1, which will be the virtual IP of the HSRP pairing. Okay, so let's just check that. What IP? Got that in port four, so let's just change. Let's just put that in the access. So FA04, and we'll do switch port mode access, and we'll switch port access VLAN 100. That will go orange, and we'll span and tree port facet to green it, and we'll do span and tree BPD guard enable. So that should be that. So let's go and check that we have connectivity to our default gateway now. So let's do an IP config and do ping 30.100.1 and we do. So we can ping our gateway which is going to be here. This is the active one for VLAN 100. Now we're going to go over uh, and configure our address pools. So let's go back into the server and for all these address pools here we need to configure that. So let's do services click on DHCP and let's call the first server pool, we'll call it A10 for area 10 and it'll be 10, so we'll do, let's call it A10L for the left one and we'll call it data. So A10L and the default gate will be 10, 10, 10, 1. The DNS server will make a uh, We'll make this the DNS server because we'll treat it like it's Active Directory and with Active Directory when you've got a domain controller you tend to have the DNS, the DHCP on the domain controller so we'll just make it that. So the DNS and that will be 10.30.100.254 I think that was the address. Yep. And we'll change that to 10. Make this 10 and we'll start at the 15. And we'll just have 200 users. That's okay, let's just check that. So it's 10, 10, 10, 1. DNS server looks fine. 15, 200 users, that seems to be fine. Okay. A, 10, L. So we'll do this one for voice now. And we'll change this subnet to 20. And that to 20. And we'll add that in. And this is going to be... A ten C for the center one and change this to data. This is now going to become thirty thirty. Add that. This will be voice. This is going to become forty and forty. And this will be come the right one now, which is down here, the right one. 
So we're going to change this to 50 and 50 and the voice will become 60 and 60 here and add that. Okay, so that's area 10 ones done. Let's go for the area 20 ones. So we'll do A, 20, L for the left one and we'll make it data for the first. So this is going to be 10, 20, 10, 1. It'll be 10, 20, 10, 15. Just check that looks right. 10, 20. That seems to be okay. I'll change this to voice. Change that to 20. This to 20. Uh, change this to the center. Data. This will be 30. That becomes 30. Voice. That becomes 40. And now we go to the right hand side. So right for the data. This is going to be 50. 50 and the right hand side voice for area 20 60 60 add that and remember to put the service as on okay so that should be that now we're going to go and what will we do actually well did I close that Okay, so we've done the server pools. Let's go and go to Switchbot Mode Access down here. We'll put these all in VLAN 10. I've not actually configured um, any phones for the voice. I've just kept it simple and just done it um, with the VLAN 10 with the actual PCs. So we'll do it. Enable int FA03 Switchport Mode Access Switchport access VLAN 10, spanning tree port fast, spanning tree BPDU guard enable. Move along here. Enable int FA03 switch port oh, mode <laughs> access, switch port access VLAN 10, spanning tree port fast, spanning tree. Nope. Is that not going to that? Switch port mode access. Why is that saying in trunking mode? Is that right? Hmm, that's bizarre. Let me just check this. I don't know why that's doing that. Switch port mode access spanning tree port fast. Spanning tree BPD guard enable. Show VLAN. I don't know why that's in that about the trunking because it's definitely in three. That's weird. Anyway, never mind. And FA03 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 spanning tree port fast. Spanning tree, BPDU guard, enable. Did that say that in that last one as well? I didn't even notice that. It did. It might just, it might ordinarily do this in packet trees. I don't, I hardly use packet trees on there. I'm always using viral. I don't think viral does that. So it kind of threw me when I saw that message there. Seems to be working fine anyway. So let's not worry about it too much. Okay, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10, spanning tree port fast, spanning tree BPDU guard enable. And FA03 switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10, spanning tree port fast, spanning tree BPDU guard enable. Uh, 
country BPDU guard enable. Okay, so let's do that and see what else we've got to do. Okay, so now if we look and we try to get an IP address like here, it's going to fail obviously because our DHCP is over here and it's on a completely separate network. See, a PIPA is being used, 169.254. So let's go on to each interface and do the IP uh, helper command and give it the IP address. For a start, it won't work because we don't have OSPF up anyway, but... <laughs> um, do you know what? This will be quicker if I just do it on this. Make a notepad and just do configure terminal interface VLAN 10 IP helper address. And I think it's 10.30.100.254, I believe. And copy that. Save me typing it in each one. that in there. So that's the helper addresses on. And summarizable lookbacks. Right, okay, before I start that, what I'm gonna do is just pause the video here and try to keep things short so it's very kind of compact. And I'll pause that here, come back to the lookbacks, then we'll start getting into doing the OSPF configurations and really start getting into what makes rooted access rooted access. So just hang tight and I'll see you back in uh, two seconds.